greetings and welcome back to my channel. I'm back with Brie and the only reason she looks taller than me is because we're sitting on different size stools. I'm tall for once. Yeah. Um, well today we're going to be talking about things guys do that girls hate and we came up with a list of things that we personally think that the female population as a whole maybe is annoyed by that guys do. Um, so. Very annoyed because y'all are buttholes. <laughs> so um, make sure you stick around to hear this list and if you can relate make sure to comment down below. So let's just get started. Okay first thing is is when guys are super nice and can never joke around. So I personally have never like been in this situation but I know that she came up with this one so. Well I have. I was in like kind of a you know the talking stage with the guy and he was like so infatuated with me that he would never say anything wrong like because you know yeah. so like when they can't joke around about stuff like they feel bad for joking around like like we, we want a fun playful relationship because like naturally like I have no eyebrows and I always make some fun of myself for that and he'll be like no your eyebrows are so pretty like no dude don't. I know I don't have any <laughs> yeah. so basically guys like we like nice guys but we don't want a guy that will never like joke around with us because we want but, to be able to insult each other to an extent. But, like, and then on the other side, if they're, like, too mean and too mm -hmm. much of a butthole. That's another point that we have. Yeah. Like, we don't want guys that will always point out our insecurities and like, be, like, you know, your face is super, like, acne-ish. Or, like, with me, like, when they, like, try to use my no eyebrows as a, like, legit insult. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, I get it. You don't have to keep bringing it up in every conversation. Yeah, and, like, oh, that really does make you look fat. Like, you're not supposed to say that. That's not the guy's yeah. role. I mean, unless I, like, genuinely want that yeah. answer. Like, if I ask, it, does this make me look fat? And you say no, but it does, then... But if, like, I'm just walking around like, and something... If it's, like, a prom dress, then mm -hmm. tell me, because that's important. Yeah. But if it's just, like, us walking around like this, like... Yeah, if we're not asking for the opinion, we don't want the opinion given, basically. And then, like, I know this is a meme that's going around. This would hurt my soul. It's like, that's why you don't blend well. <laughs> oh my gosh, somebody came up to me the other day, and that's why, they were like, that's why you can't blend. I was like, That okay. would hurt my soul if anyone told me this. I mean, but I feel like, I don't really do eyeshadow, but I feel like if your blending didn't look good, I, you'd want me to tell me. Well, yeah, if you told me, because, like, I like you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> like, it's so some random, like, no, like, if me and Deshaun got in a fight, and he told me that, I would cry. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, never insult a girl's blending unless she asks for it. Like, if she's legit, like, in love with makeup like me, don't insult me. Yeah. Unless it's, like, her when she can tell me it looks really bad. Yeah. Because then at least she can fix it. Because I'm telling the truth. And if she wants it. But, I mean, you know, you don't want to just go around insulting people when they don't want the insultation. Yeah, well, I kind of insult you all the time, so. <laughs> I know. Someone that is suicidal, call 1 800 hotline. Suicide hotline. Oh, we should make a suicide hotline. Yeah. Because we will not help you at all. We'll be like hitting yourself, bitch. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Bye. I'm just kidding. Guys that are different around their friends than when they're with you. Yeah. So, like, when a guy is like one way around me and then they go with their friends and they're like completely different, then it's like, okay, which one's the real you? Like, I really don't understand that. So don't have like double personalities because that one mixes up our emotions because then we're like, do you like me or is it that this just a game for you? I don't know. I've never really had that problem because my type are the funny guys and they're like funny around me and the other, like their friends and they're kind of mm -hmm. just... Well, I'm going to call out John on this one where in the beginning of our relationship, he was like super like lovey-dovey around me, but then his friends, he was like super hood and I was just like, yikes. I was kind of intimidated, but... It's okay now. But like with me and Deshaun, like we met when we were still friends. Me and Jason, we met when we were still friends. Like I didn't jump in a relationship with either of them, mm -hmm. so I don't. And like well, me and Jalen, Jalen, were friends for like two years before we dated. So yeah, I friends on him. Uh -huh. Oh, that's also the next thing. Um, guy best friend who wants more, like wants to be more. Like, we'll we'll act this out. <clears throat> so we've been best friends for three years, and I'm the guy. So. Hey, what's up? Oh, oh my gosh, you touched me. So, um, I was wondering, do you want to go to a movie later? Yeah, do you mind if I bring, like, this new guy I'm talking to? Oh. <laughs> I mean, uh, I was thinking that it could be, like, 
just us, you know, like a, a double or a date. Uh, I like this guy. I'm sorry. Well, we could maybe work it out. Please <laughs> love me. Please love me. <laughs> like that. Yeah. We're really good actresses. Hire us Broadway. So listen, if you've been friends with a guy for like a long time, chances are you probably won't get together unless the feelings are mutual. I mean, like me and Jalen, like I said, we were together for like, not together, we were friends for two years and then we got together yeah. for like a year. Yeah, back when I was in third grade, I was friends with this guy <laughs> for like two years and um, then we dated for like two months, but I broke up with him when he came, it flew down for my yeah, birthday. Yeah, he flew for her birthday in third grade and she broke up with him. Listen, I was a heartbreaker back then. <laughs> I was like, boy, five. That was when I was ugly, too. Tell them, boy, five. A double standards. Okay. Listen. Like, my thing is, because, like, if a guy wants to stay out late with their friends, cool, I don't care. But if I want to stay out late and you care, then no. Mm -hmm. And, like, another example is, let's say I'm in this, well, I'm in a relationship, but, um, like, I'm texting my best friend Tyrese, and he is really upset over it, even though he's my best friend, but I don't care if he texts a girl, like, then, yeah. Like, so, in a relationship, or even not in a relationship, like, with a best friend or something, like, don't have these, like, double-sided things where, like, you can do something, but then you, like, get pissed off at them if they do something. Because then they're gonna be like, well, why can't I, why can't I do it, but you can. How does best friends relate to that? Because, okay... <sighs> I had something in my mind. Okay, say with Tori or something. Tori's my other friend. Yeah, like if I got mad at you all the time for hanging out with her and you like never hang out with me, but then I go and do the same thing, you'd be mad at me for doing that. Yeah. And so well, I wouldn't be. But. Well, but you know, sensitive people. Might. <laughs> so just something like that. So I think having not double standards in any type of situation is pretty good. Yeah. Because then you trust each other. Well, you can have double standards and trust. Well, yeah, but like. It wouldn't make us for a conversation. Have you seen that one video where it's like she has a paint roller? She was like, you know, I hate when people, because this reminded me of it, she was like, I hate when people think I'm so, like, young. Like, I was in the Home Depot, and I was trying, and she started rolling her oh, like, oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it was funny, because, like, I was like, why is she just brushing her hair randomly in a video and, like, ranting about stuff? That's what oh, yeah. I thought oh, about. Guys act dumb to be cool and dumb themselves down. <clears throat> okay, listen. I know a lot of really smart males, and then they have, like, their group of friends or whatever, and their friends are, like, not as smart as them, so then they, like, dumb themselves down to be cool with their friends. Like, being smart is not a bad thing at all. I think that if you're smart, you should, like, be happy about being smart. And then there's a difference between, like, being happy about being smart and then, like, bragging about being smart. So, like, you shouldn't be, like, what was the thing that you used earlier? Like, oh, yeah, I got, like, all 36 on my ACTs, like... You know, I mean, I don't know. This doesn't bother me. This is kind of her one because, like, I'm not trying to brag, but, like, I have, like, really good grades and I always have, but I don't, like, show it off. Mm -hmm. And I guess that can come off as, like, oh, you're acting dumb because no one, you know, I'm also not trying to be cocky, but the pretty girl usually doesn't have good grades. Well, no one thinks, like, that's just a stereotype. And so no one expects me to have, like, good grades or anything and I just don't portray it unless you're in my class like you'll never know mm -hmm. so I guess that could be taken as plain dumb but I don't have a problem with it. I just I think it's just like annoying when people in general got girls to like think that it's not cool to be smart because I mean it I is mean cool. I she always knew I was smart from the beginning because mm -hmm. we were in honors class together yeah that's how we met well we were kind of talk about the guys who brag about themselves okay so like off of the grades and stuff, when guys brag about, like, maybe getting a new pair of Jordans or something, and they, like, go around, like... It's kind of like when girls get their nails done, and they're like... Oh my gosh, oh my gosh that gosh, annoys me so much! Hey! Like, That's so annoying. Or, like, when every picture, they're like, look at my new makeup palette, look at my new brush. Hey, guys. Look at my... <laughs> like, that's so annoying. Okay, we get it. You got your nails done. But, like, it's kind of the same thing for guys who, like, mm -hmm. constantly show their stacks of money that they sold, like, they got from selling weed. Like, we don't care. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. Oh yeah, it's like when guys show off their money but don't want gold diggers and when girls show off their 
bodies but don't want guys that just want sex like yeah that's so relatable like that's again <laughs> double standards because like you know you can't have those things or like when guys show off all their money but then like they don't want to spend it on their girl or something like yeah. you have this money but spoil your girl i don't know i don't feel like i need to be spoiled i don't need to either like i mean i, I like food if you're gonna give me food then go ahead <laughs> but i don't i don't feel like i need to go out to a hundred dollar date <clears throat> that annoys me too like when guys think that like they need to spend money on their their Cause girl. Like, like we we're not we don't want that stuff. Like if you want to give it to us, fine. But like we, we don't expect it out of a relationship. Like when me and Jason went on our dates, we went to like I don't know. We went to the Riverside, which is just like a John and I just went to walkway. McDonald's the other day. Like that was a whole seven dollars for both of our meals. Yeah, That's we great. went to Riverside, which is just a walkway near a river, and that was our whole date. And then we almost got jumped by people, but that's okay. And, like, we just, I feel like dates that don't involve money are um, actually, yeah, like, you more have fun. to think more. And yeah. it's, like, guys put more thought into it, mm -hmm. and it's more, like, oh, cute. Yeah. Guys automatically assume something about a girl before knowing them. Shout out to John, <laughs> because he didn't like me when her, me and her first became friends because all the rumors that were spreading around about me. Yeah. I mean, just, like, even girls do this, too, where, like, they see a girl and then they're just, like, Oh my gosh, like... Oh, she's pretty. She must be a hoe. Yeah, or like, oh my gosh, she's pretty. She must, like, be dumb or something, what we were talking about earlier. Yeah, like, like, get to know that person before you judge them. I don't know. Even when, like, I don't know, you judged me. I too. used to be, like, super judgy about everybody, but now I just don't really care. Like, it's your life. Like, so. she judged me. Oh, it's okay. My armpits are kind of sweet. I mean, like, get to know the person. And then once you know them, then you can judge them. Like, I can judge her now that I know her. I mean, I'm not gonna, like, judge you out loud. Like, I don't know, because people always define a person by their body count, and I don't think it does. I mean... I, to an extent. Yeah, I don't know. Because, like, I kind of talked about... The, okay, Morgan, if you're watching this, I'm really not trying to copy you. Like, I'm sorry. But, um, if someone <clears throat> had sex with a guy, like, five guys throughout a year, I don't care. But if you had sex with five guys throughout, like, a week, like, I don't care, but... that That's, that's kind of... That kind of makes you more of a hoe, but I still don't care. Like, your body count should be 50, and I still would love you. I don't know. I mean, like... She's more conservative than I am. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, I don't care. Like, I wouldn't voice that, like, to them. I wouldn't be like, oh my gosh, your body count's 50, like... And I would never What's say it? it. Yeah. Like, even to you. Oh, come on. You know I'm a virgin. No, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, I wouldn't say, like, oh, her body count's, like, 10. Yeah. I don't oh, like yeah. her. She's a hoe. Yeah, like, okay, your body count can be, like, 100, and I can still be friends with you. Yeah. But, like, I don't know. I don't really know. It's your body, so you can abuse it or however. Because your pussy is going to be the one that's stretched out and disgusting after 50 guys. I feel like that's not appropriate. It's okay. Keep it in. <laughs> you yell at me for saying inappropriate things. No, that's kind of the conclusion to the video. What a great way to end the video. I don't know how much of that I'm keeping in. <laughs> um, if you enjoyed this video, obviously make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let us know what other things you want us to talk about. Because we can talk all day. This is already a 15 minute video. <laughs> Over like five yeah. things. <laughs> so if you want us to discuss more controversial things, we have p opinions. Well, it's not controversial, but well, if you want us to discuss controversial things, we have opinions on everything. Everybody has opinions, so make sure to comment them down below. Subscribe. See us next. Well, see me next video. Probably not her. I don't know. She doesn't like me enough to hang out with me anymore. <gasps> yes, I do. Okay. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Wendy, love you. Bye.